Welcome to A Dude's Nerdery. After stopping into eight targets since Tuesday and finding zero Clone Wars figures, the ninth time was the charm. My daughter must have been my good luck charm as we found a plethora of hawks. Thank the toy gods! I'm going to use the flap method to cut this open. I'm going to make a cut here, here, and here, and then lift this up like a flap, and then slide the carton in the figure out this way. Everything slid back in neat. Looks pretty good. First thing I want to do is get a real good shot of this helmet, man. Articulates really well, chin down, gives you a real nice side head tilt, and he moves easily in a 360 degree manner. Wow, I really appreciate the detail on this helmet. It's just a real neat sculpt, and I love the paint job, and as always, it looks homemade. Check out how the visor sits in relation to the mouth, and then the tubes running out. Super interesting helmet. Hawk has your typical clone body, but I really do appreciate the blue paint on the shoulder pads. I like how that is weathered there, and far away that looks super cool. And then again, really appreciate how the tubes come down into this breather. That's actually some pretty cool detail on that, man. I do appreciate just the small variations between the clones. Right, let's get a picture of his body sculpt. Typical clone body of a double pin elbow joint and a double pin knee joint. Now let's see how he holds his blaster. All right, for starters, I really appreciate how he's got a wrist rocker up and down. So when I go to take a picture of him, I can angle his wrist based on where I want him to point shooting. Hawk easily dual wields the blaster, however, just can't get it lined up quite right. It kind of looks okay from the side, but when you look at it straight on, it's really goobery. But he does hold it well like this, so he can look like he's like walking and, and holding his blaster out like he's in um, recon mode. So I'm going to pose him like this, looking like he's uh, in step. Let's see how that looks with the photo. So now I'm going to pose him uh, holding the blaster out, kind of Han Solo-ish, uh, looking this way. And then uh, we'll put his arm back and uh, just see how he looks, almost kind of like he's turning in motion to fire like that quickly. Five is going to be playtime with other clone troopers. Oh, dude, man. Hulk looks awesome next to the clone trooper lieutenant. Dude, that pair is so well together. Alright, change his pose so he's dual wielding his blaster. Let's put him with Cody and Clone Commander Bly. <laughs> Dude, I kind of like the uh, mustard, blue, and orange. It's actually pretty slick together. It was a thrill to find Hawk in the wild. Thank the Toy God. So grateful to get my first figure from this wave and cannot wait to add the other three. Hawk is definitely much cooler out of the box, highlighted by his unique helmet, breathing hoses, and chest box. I'm so grateful to add him to my clone garrison. I hope you enjoyed this review with a slightly different format. It's fun to experiment. Please let me know if you appreciate this type of video and would like to see more. Good luck to everyone toy hunting this week. May the toy gods reward our efforts. Please like and subscribe to join the noble quest of building this action figure collection. See you real soon.